Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? f of x plus 1 equals x squared plus 4x plus 6. But wait, how do you solve this problem before I solved it? Let's get the answer in the comment box. And I will be solving this in two different ways. We have a solution here. This function increases by 1, and uh, we need to find only this f of x. x is a member of a real number, and at this side we have a quadratic x squared plus 4x plus 6. Let's consider the first method called manipulation method. I want to try and manipulate all these sides just for it to have x plus 1 as the domain. From here we have f of x plus 1 equals x squared plus 4x plus 6. This is the given question. But can this be factorizable? No, we cannot factorize this. Because if we try to look for some number here, like we have 6. So 6 is equals 6 multiplied by 1. This 6 also equals 2 multiplied by 3. And we can still have 6 as minus 2 multiplied by minus 3. But the sum of all this one, nothing equals 4. If you add 6 plus 1, that gives us 7. If you add 2 plus 3, that gives us 5. And minus 2 minus 3, that gives us minus 5. None of this equals 4. That is, we cannot factorize this quadratic equation. The only thing we can do is, we can try and break this thing down into... So let's try and break this down. We are going to have x squared plus 4x plus, if I call this 4 plus 2. And this gives us 6. So if I bracket this, and I continue this way, here is f of x plus 1 equals, this is now factorizable, which we, we write this as x plus 2, then raised to the power of 2. Expanding x plus 2 raised to the power 2, we get x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then here is plus 2 outside the bracket. Now we have f of x plus 1 equals x plus 2 raised to power 2, then plus 2. So next, we have here as x plus 1, and here is x plus 2. If I rewrite this side as x plus 1 plus 1, x plus 1 plus 1, then I bracket this, all raised to power 2, then plus 2. Suppose I replace x plus 1 with t. For instance, if I replace x plus 1 with t, then the first one here becomes f of t equals, this is x plus 1, it becomes t plus 1 in the bracket, all squared, then plus 2. Again, if I expand this, we have f of t equals t plus 1 squared. That gives us t squared plus 2t plus 1, then plus 2 outside the bracket. So here we have f of t equals t squared plus 2t plus 3. And by changing this t to x, because x and t are both members of a real number we then have f of t equals f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 3 so this is what we get for f of x only from f of x plus 1 let's try and look for another pattern of how to solve this so here is the second method and you are welcome 
if you are just coming to this channel please do it to hit the subscribe button and like this video here we have method two we are going to be applying the substitution method here at first if we have x plus one if i let it equals t then i make x the subject of the formula by subtracting one from both sides so here we have x equals t minus one and from the right hand side we have x squared plus 4x we need to have our x squared and we need to have our 4x so if i try and uh, substitute this t minus 1 into this uh, equation we are going to have f of x now is given as t minus 1 then plus 1 equals for x squared that one gives us t minus 1 squared plus y for 4x that gives us 4 into bracket of t minus 1 then plus 6 so we have to get the same answer with fx method plus 1 minus 1 cancelled here is f of t equals expanding t minus 1 squared we get t squared minus 2t then plus 1 also plus 4t minus 4 plus 6 we have f of t equals t squared minus 2t plus 4t they have the same um Order. this is order one this is order one so it is easy for us to pair them together minus 2t plus 4t that is plus 2t then there are constants here 1 minus 4 and 6 1 minus 4 that gives us minus 3 <coughs> and minus 3 plus 6 that gives us plus 3 So since we get the same answer as the first one, the only thing that's left to us is replacing this x, this t with x. So since we're asked to find f of x, therefore our final answer will be f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 3. I solve this problem step by step. Do we have any other method of solving this? Let's hear in the comment section. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.